Looking for a way to get into Diablo 2 fast and easy? Do check out eSmurfs. Recently they helped me out on the channel when I made my 2000 subscriber video, where I gave out some pretty wild items. Hello everybody, today we are going to be finally taking a look at Merc Damage again. So the conclusion last time was that the Reaver's Tall setup was just the overall winner, but the mythology that I did in that video was kinda wrong and just overall bad and I hope that this uh, tutorial here guide can be even better. So uh, some things first, Reaver's Tall setup with the increased attack speed duel in both the helm and the uh, yeah, the weapon itself is just, you know, overall the highest possible damage you can get on Mercy Gen. Or is it? I hope that I can at least, you know, get my own views changed about this setup and especially compare it to, say, Infinity, which I have actually started to like quite a bit, even just for raw damage, just because of the Infinity Aura itself reducing the, uh, the mobs or the boss's uh, defense. Conviction does that. So in this case I have Conviction on this Paladin and it reduces the attack rating needed to hit mobs which is pretty insane to think about. But um, yeah, I'm going to be killing Nightmare Mephisto. So why boss? Well, they don't change stats ever. They are always gonna spawn with the same amount of health and possibly even the same amount of, you know, gameplay, uh, AI, whatever. So there's not gonna be too many variables, I hope at least. I'm also going to be killing Mephisto Nightmare three times with each setup and then just finding the average for those three kills. I can also put up now on the screen which setups I will be testing. I should also mention that um, I have tried to you know, get pretty good uh, rolled uh, Mercy Chance setup. As you can see this one is nearly perfect. Um, I also have a perfect duel in the, in the helm here. But, you know, it's not quite perfect. It's not like I have a plus 15 increased uh, damage, plus 3 attack rating base, uh, infinity, cryptic X, or ratio, or Cosmos, or Luke, infinity, whatever, 345%. I wish I had that, but I hadn't quite got such an insane stats, because, of course, we wanted to see, you know, the absolute top tier items being tested out. I don't quite have the budget for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, besides that, I hope the test mythology can be better in this video now. Because again, my money is on the reverse tall setup. I am always gonna bang on this setup being the highest mercy and damage. But um, let's find out now. I am definitely a bit hyped to see the results myself. Okay, so let's first do the reverse tall setup. Now, before I engage in the pool, I always make sure that the aura is up from the mercy gent. Usually I have only ever picked Might Aura just because it's such an overpowered aura for your Mercy Chance and even just your own uh, damage. I have tried to you know, think about Blessed Aim or whatever before but it's never really been you know, an alternative to Might. It has always just been so much better. Another thing is also I'm just gonna teleport into Mephisto, stand still, no movement and just let the Merc you know, handle He's walking himself, even if he's like clumsy or whatever. I'm just gonna say that's the AI being stupid. You know, the rogue, if uh, we're talking egg one here, he she can uh, shoot from far away without having to walk. I mean, that's a fair thing. No stupid AI walking there. So, um, yeah, there's really nothing more to say than that. And of course, also, I remove stuff like uh, Dream if I have any you know, damaging things on my Mercy Chance, so there is no aid and it's only gonna be the Mercy Chance damage. No aura as well, such as Conviction or whatever. So yeah, let's go for the first one. Oh, and I should also mention that I'll just have the averages up at the end of the video or whatever, so you can kinda not get all spoiled and surprised. <laughs> That was a pretty clean kill. Now the idea, and I tried to practice this, is to kind of just do the mood bail, uh, the mood Mephisto one, where you kind of just trap him. Because having no movement on Mephisto is obviously going to make it a little faster. So I hope to kind of replicate this kill here. This was a pretty good attempt to kind of just show how I'm going to be testing it out. 
But if you're kind of in a hurry, you know, you don't really want to see all the setups being tested, you can just skip to the end of the video. That's cool as well. But yeah, this was uh, basically just a demo to show kind of how I'm going to be doing it. So before we get to the results, I just want to also quickly showcase all the gear that I'm going to be using on the different Merc setups. Just very fast, no real talking or whatever. Dowels resides, 27% enhanced that dual, 42 and then I took a uh, cryptic axe, so I do have a uh, fresh air, and I also have um, yeah, other bases like Colossus Voluk on my builds, but I feel like uh, cryptic axe hits a sweet spot and then it's pretty high rolled, 319% enhanced damage, so it's quite okay. Um, but yeah, that was just this setup for the infinity, which is probably the main contender for maximum damage. Next up are Obedience and Pride 20. So they are both cryptic axes, so they are gonna hit fast at least. But here comes the thing, I know that you know the standard uh, setup on Mercer Chance needs leech, so in this case I would probably should, should just switch out the Gulliam's face. But to be fair, these two weapons here are not that good. So I'm gonna keep my treasury, and then I'm gonna keep my decent socket Gulliam's face. And well, another thing is also that the um, yeah the roll on my pride is not that high. The bonus to attack rating is a little bit low, but it is a pride twenty. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that normally we would need some leads, but to give these two weapons a fair chance uh, to work real well, we will roll without Andariel's visage. So time for the results. Obedience was a big surprise, but I want to talk a little more about that now before we kinda get on with the results. Uh, compare that to know the other setups and whatnot. Because as you can clearly see, again, Obedience, extremely fast damage. But Infinity, Rebirth, Tall, Pride, whatever, they buff your own damage as well. Whereas obedience, you know, it doesn't do anything but damage. It's kind of boring. Um, it's just very high amount of damage for the Merc and even some survival stats like the enchant it buffs yourself with. The Merc buffs, buffs itself with is also very handy to even more uh, for even more survival with the leads and whatnot. But yeah. Raw damage, hands down, obedience. I did more than three kills for obedience because I didn't really believe in these numbers here. But yeah, they do stack up. The first kill was also the fastest that I saw. It had very good energy, I will say that. That was like the perfect tailor stomp and it just hit instantly. And I don't even think the Mercy Chant missed much. Um, but yeah, six seconds was the fastest I got of all the kills that I did. Um, 843 and 856 so consistent very close to each other but then let's talk about reverse tall <laughs> the, the mercy chain that, that I am always betting on being the fastest now reverse tall has this amazing proc that is obviously very needed for stuff like wine druids uh, melee builds and, and all those sort of physical based builds um, the prog is just too good to not have. Um, like for like for one instance, I use reverse toll on my bow Amazon in most cases. If I didn't have the reverse toll mercy chain on my bow Amazon, I would have to use the Atmos Scarab amulet to proc physical immunes away. So yeah, it would just be a mess. Um, but yeah, reverse toll. I saw consistent under ten seconds every single kill that I did. Um, but yeah, the first kill I did uh, recorded at 7.53, that was also the fastest that I saw. The demo that you saw uh, at the start of the video, that was also around 7.53 or so. And then I even had a very bad one RNG, as I called it, bad RNG, just to kind of show what a very bad situation would look for Reaver's Tall, where everything just goes wrong. Like he got frozen, he missed a lot and whatnot less than 15 seconds even on a very bad kill so yeah pretty sweet to see that one as well infinity very consistent all of bow uh, 11 seconds the fastest one was 11 and 69 
and then 14, 14, 53, 53, and I mean, these numbers, they are all so close. So I got a little bored with the Cryptic Axe setup. So at the end, I also went on my Assassin, who uses a very weird uh, uh, setup for Infinity. He uses a like, Shafter, and it's not like an Eve upgraded 2600 defense or whatever. It's like a pretty low one, but still it's okay. Gaze, uh, I think I had it champed it. Yeah, it was champed, and then a Fisher. So um, yeah, pretty happy with these results here, really. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just take the last one, the worst one, Pride 20. That was the reason why I talked about wanting to not um, have Andalian's Visades on the Obedience and Pride setup, because I really just believe those two Wavens, they deserve to just do the maximum damage, or they're just gonna lack, uh, you know, in performance, in damage. And yeah, the Mercy Chain will die, like, honestly. At one kill uh, with Pride 20, the Mercy Chain almost died before Mephisto died. That is just how slow it was at yeah, 20, <laughs> I mean 26 seconds. What the hell? So that was just um, very bad RNG, maybe. Because like the the kill was okay, but like compared to the reverse, which was like yeah, very bad RNG. This one was not that bad RNG. So I went bad RNG maybe on this really shitty kill here. <laughs> but yeah, the fastest one I saw was 11.15.11, I was pretty happy with this kill, I thought it was actually going pretty well, but yeah, as you saw, it's even slower than Infinity, and then obviously we saw the first kill that I did was at 17, almost 18 seconds, which is very slow compared to any of the other waypoints. Um, but yeah, I don't really think there is much more to say than just a conclusion, obviously my method could you know, I would have to do like a simulation and kill Mephisto like a thousand times to really get accurate numbers. But if you want to see, you know, the different setups uh, being tested, at least the most common one, like there's so many other ones like Home Sudan and yeah, there's a lot of ways that you could build up a Mercy Chant in Act 2, but these four, I believe, are the most common ones that people tend to stick to. Um, but yeah, obviously, the more kills that I do for Mephisto, the better results I could probably get. Also rule out RNG uh, just a little bit. But yeah, um, there's really nothing more to say than that. But again, I love my Reaver's Tall for the proc. The Infinity is just amazing damage because of the Conviction Orb, which also reduces the monster's defense. So uh, both you as a melee will, you know, not miss as much, but also the Mercy Chain itself. Um, and yeah, and obviously Infinity works pretty well on Cold Lightning and Fire builds, so that is stuff like Corpse Explosion or Fire Wizards, whatever. And then Obedience, I am actually starting to think that maybe I should use Obedience on my Mer on my uh, <laughs> on my Mercy Chain for the Necromancer. I don't think that infinity is worth it on a necromancer the more i think about it because getting that first kill very fast from obedience will you know just make the uh, corpse explosion that much better so if i had to come with a conclusion here you know kind of round it up what weapons would i use on the different setups also obedience on all uh, on all Necromancer builds are probably a decent bet. Pride 20 I would never use on any builds period. I do not see Pride 20 as uh, a working uh, weapon setup for any builds. Like of course you can try it on a Whirlwind Bob or Bow Amazon or whatever. But like then you miss Reaver's Tall Proc and what will you do against physical immunes and then on top of that just look at this shit damage that Pride 20 does. It's so bad damage that it's almost stupid. <laughs> yeah. And then Infinity, I will use this for every other build that are not physical based. So that is like, yeah, any caster builds, I suppose. But also consider it for Necromancer if you don't think Obedience fits in your kind of setup, even though. You know, getting that first kill to proc corpse explosion fast is very important. And then again, Reaper's troll for physical builds. But yeah, 
um, this test mythology, um, you know, a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, this is bullshit, but I did a guide again some time ago where I kind of just did it on Eldrick, and, it, and I hate that video myself. I don't think it's very good, but like a lot of people watched it, and I did get some attraction from it, so I feel like I can at least try to, you know, have a read on it now with a better test mythology behind it, and just kind of, you know, answering these questions so you don't have to I suppose <laughs> but yeah before this video does get too long thank you for watching and have a good one